Right, this morning we're going to look at how to make some simple geometric shapes, um, just to hopefully remind ourselves of some of the tools of SketchUp. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the basics, and then you're going to have a go in the lesson. So first things first, we're going to try making a cube. We start by using uh, or draw using the rectangles in order to draw a square. And as we draw one out, that's a rectangle. If you move down and the dotted line appears, that is a square. Okay, so it will tell you. So as long as there's a the diagonal it's a square so once you let go we've created our square and then we use the push pull tool to pull up now you, you'll use a similar method to create a rectangle now let's try creating a, a um, triangular prism a couple of different ways of doing this but the way I'm going to show you is by drawing a uh, cuboid first now on this face, I'm going to use the pencil tool to draw from the midpoints to the corners. And then I'm going to use the push-pull tool to push that back. There we are. That is a triangular prism. If you wanted to do a different shape such as a cone, um, we would use, let me just delete all of the things in front of me. Uh, if you want to do, for example, a cone, um, we will use the circle tool draw a circle we will use the push pull tool to draw it up so we've made a cylinder and in order to draw a cone we have to use the push pull tool or sorry the move tool and we're looking at the edge and as we go around there's a point which is blue ah there's a point where it doesn't select the whole um edge you grab there and then move it in and out. You can make a cone to a point. So as you were doing it, I'll just show that again. You don't want it to be blue, so you have to go around the edge very carefully. And the moment it stops highlighting the whole edge, so you can grab and pull in to make a cone. Um, one more thing we can try: square base pyramid. Again, I'm going to just select everything and delete that. Uh, square base pyramid. We are going to start with a square, of course. Um, we are then going to draw two lines going across, and then we're going to use the push pull. Uh, sorry, the move tool, not the push pull tool, um, to grab this point and pull it up. Now the difficulty is is making sure you're making it move up. See, it's got the blue on axis line. That means we are going up. Let go, and then hopefully as we rotate it round, it will be a uh, not quite square base. That will be a rectangular raised pyramid but you get the idea as long as the bottom is square it will make a uh, square based pyramid. Um, hopefully that's enough for you to get started there will be more for you to do in the lesson.